Good morning students. Let us continue with our chapter number 11, Area and its Boundary. Now see, our next question is, Divide the given piece of land into three equal parts such that each part carries one tree and fill different colors in each part. Now see, this is a piece of land. We have to divide this piece of land into three equal parts. The, and each part carries one tree. Okay. So first we have to find the area of this part, land. Okay. So let us count, find the area. Now see, length. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, length means 10 boxes. Breadth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 boxes. So, what is the formula to find the area of a rectangle? Area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth. That is 10 into 9 is 90 centimeter square now area of this piece of land is 90 centimeter square now we have to divide this into three equal parts so 90 divided by 3 is 30 okay that means each part contains 30 boxes now each part carries one tree and a sub part may ek ek tree honi chahiye. now see here we can divide like this way. I have done one method for you. You can divide in another way also. Okay? Now see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, uh, sorry, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay? And one tree in this part again when you count this part also from here like this way this also contains 30 box and one tree here now the third part is here from here see here you can divide here also and one tree here understood you can divide in another method also our next question is in which unit will you measure the area of the following items tick right in the proper column now see three measures are given here square centimeter square meter and square kilometer and we have to mention in which measure we will measure this area of these items given below now we measure square uh, short distance in square centimeter medium distance in square meter and long distance in square kilometer. Understood? Now first item is handkerchief. That is short distance. So we will measure this in square centimeter. Now sari. So we will measure sari in a square meter. Chessboard square centimeter. Page of a book square centimeter. Mobile phone square centimeter. Playground that is medium distance. So we will measure in square meter total land of a city long distance. So we will measure in square kilometer chair seat square centimeter door of the classroom square meter blackboard square meter garden square meter tripod square centimeter Indian flag square centimeter floor of the kitchen square meter understood next question is solve the following first question mahesh bhai decided to fit square tiles on the floor of kitchen each tile measures 10 cm of length if the length of his kitchen is 150 cm and its breadth is 100 cm then how many tiles would be needed? Now here we have to find the number of tiles needed to floor a kitchen. So now what we have to do? We will find the area of square tile. Then we will find the area of 
kitchen then after that we will get the number of tiles needed okay so now see this is a here given is a square tile of 10 cm length so first let us find the area of square tile now area of square tile is equal to side into side that is here the measurement is 10 cm so 10 into 10 that is 100 cm square now in our question it is given the length of the kitchen is 150 cm and its breadth is 100 cm so length and breadth is given so we will find the area of kitchen that is length into breadth 150 into 100 that is 15,000 centimeter square now number of tiles needed is equal to area of kitchen divided by area of tiles so area of kitchen is 15,000 centimeter square and the area of tiles is 100 centimeter square so 0 0 cut and 150 tiles okay or you can directly do this sum also like this way area of kitchen that is 150 into 100 divide by area of tiles 10 into 10 so 10 tens are 100 0 0 cut 15 into 10 is 150 tiles so 150 tiles are needed to floor the kitchen understood our second question is the length of fencing around a square garden is 24 meter what is the length of one side of the garden now see length of fencing around a square garden means the total length of a square garden is given here that is 24 meter so the total length around a square garden means that is perimeter of the garden that is given 24 meter what is the length of one side of the garden we have to find the length of one side of the garden so see here length of fencing that is perimeter is equal to 24 meter now what is the formula to find the perimeter of a square garden it is 4 into side. Now the perimeter is given here 24 meter is equal to 4 into side. Therefore side is equal to what you will do you will divide 24 by 4. We will get 6. 6 for the 24. So 6 meter is the length of one side of a garden. Understood? Now the third question is. A rectangle is made from a 20 centimeter long thin wire. If the breadth of the rectangle is 3 centimeter, then what is the length of that rectangle? Now see, a rectangle shape is made from 20 centimeter long thin wire and the breadth of the rectangle is 3 centimeter. We have to find the length of that rectangle. Now see, 20 centimeter long. That is, that means the perimeter of the rectangle is 20 centimeter and breadth is given. We have to find the length of the rectangle. Now, the formula to find the perimeter of the rectangle is 2 length plus breadth. Now, perimeter is 20 centimeter and the breadth is 3 centimeter. So, see here 2 in the bracket length plus 3. 3 means the breadth. Now see here what we have done here. See 20. This 2 we brought here. That is 20 divided by 2 is equal to length plus breadth. Therefore 20 divided by 2 that is 10 is equal to, is equal to length plus 3. Therefore length is equal to 10 minus this place. When we are bringing this 3 to this side. That is plus will become minus 10 minus 3. Therefore, length is equal to 7 centimeter. Therefore, length of the rectangle is 7 centimeter. Understood? Our next question is, 
if the perimeter of a square carom board is 200 cm then what is the area of that carom board now see here perimeter is given that is 200 cm we have to find the area of the carom board now see to find the area of a square shape what we need we need side okay side into side it's the formula here perimeter is given so first what we will do we will find the side of the square carom board so see here again we will put the formula perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into side and the perimeter of the square carom board is 200 centimeter is equal to 4 into side so 200 divided by 4 is equal to side so when we divide we will get 50 centimeter so the side of a square carom board is 50 centimeter now we have to find the area now what is the formula to find the area of a square shape that is side into side so here the side is 50 centimeters so 50 into 50 that is 5 is are 25 and you will put this two zeros so that is 2500 square centimeter or centimeter square understood our next question is draw three rectangles with different size in the square sheet given below in such a way that area of each rectangle becomes 12 square centimeter on its basis complete the following table now here we have to draw three rectangles with different size the in such a way that area of each rectangle becomes 12 square centimeter that means area of this three rectangle must be 12 square centimeter now see here first one is like this way length 1 2 3 4 5 6 length is 6 and breadth is 1 2 so area of a rectangle is length into breadth so 6 twos are here length is 6 breadth is 2 6 twos are 12 square centimeter understood now see the second method here the breadth is 1 2 3 and length 1 2 3 4 so 4 into 3 4 threes are 12 square centimeter now see here the length is 12 and breadth is 1 see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 length is 12 and the breadth is 1 so 12 ones are 12 understood our next question is answer the following questions from the figure given below area of one square is equal to one square meter now see we have to answer this question on the basis of this figure okay our first question is what is the area of the ground a b c d now see this is a ground a b c d we have to find the area of the ground so length 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 centimeter is the length and breadth 1 2 3 4 5 5 centimeter is the breadth therefore area of the ground is equal to length into breadth that is 7 into 5 35 centimeter square now our second question is find the area of the garden e f g h now see this is a garden e f g h we have to find the area of the garden so let us see the length 1 2 3 4 5 and breadth is 1 2 3 so length into breadth 5 into 3 is 15 centimeter square 
द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द एरिया ऑफ द पाथ नाउ वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट एरिया ऑफ ग्राउंड इज थर्टी फाइव सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर एंड एरिया ऑफ गार्डन इज फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर सो वी विल सब्ट्रैक्ट एरिया ऑफ गार्डन फ्रॉम द एरिया ऑफ ग्राउंड देन वी विल गेट द एरिया ऑफ पाथ सो थर्टी फाइव सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर माइनस फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर इज द एरिया ऑफ द पाथ ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइंड द पेरीमीटर ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फिगर्स नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड द पेरीमीटर नाउ सी दिस इज वन सेंटीमीटर हियर ऑल्सो वन सेंटीमीटर हियर ऑल्सो वन सेंटीमीटर दैट मीन्स वन प्लस वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन लेवन ट्वेल्व सो ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर इज द पेरीमीटर ऑफ दिस फिगर नाउ सी दिस फिगर दिस इज वन सेंटीमीटर हियर इज थ्री सेंटीमीटर सो हियर ऑल्सो थ्री सेंटीमीटर हियर वन सेंटीमीटर सो ब्रेथ इज ऑल्सो वन सेंटीमीटर दिस इज थ्री सेंटीमीटर सो हियर ऑल्सो थ्री सेंटीमीटर दिस इज वन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर हियर ऑल्सो वन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर सो वेन वी डू ऑल द टोटल वी विल गेट सेवेंटीन सेंटीमीटर अंडरस्टूड क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द शेडेड पोर्शन इन द फॉलोइंग फिगर नाउ सी वी हैव टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ दिस शेडेड पोर्शन ओनली नाउ सी द टोटल लेंथ इज फाइव सेंटीमीटर दैट मीन्स हियर ऑल्सो फाइव सेंटीमीटर नाउ दिस दिस पोर्शन इज थ्री सेंटीमीटर दैट मीन्स फाइव माइनस थ्री इज टू सेंटीमीटर दैट मीन्स दिस पोर्शन इज टू सेंटीमीटर नाउ सी दिस इज ब्रेथ ब्रेथ इज टू सेंटीमीटर दैट मीन्स हियर ऑल्सो टू सेंटीमीटर नाउ सी हियर ऑल्सो टू सेंटीमीटर हियर टू सेंटीमीटर हियर टू सेंटीमीटर हियर टू सेंटीमीटर दैट मीन्स एरिया ऑफ अ स्क्वेर दैट इज साइड इन टू साइड सो टू सेंटीमीटर इंटू टू सेंटीमीटर इज फोर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर अंडरस्टूड विथ दिस वी कंप्लीट आवर चैप्टर हियर